In this video, I'm gonna explain everything you need to know about the employer tax credit stimulus idea. I'm gonna explain what exactly it is, what this means for the average American and the average working citizen, and the pros and cons of this system. So Trump is a big fan of cutting payroll taxes as a form of stimulus in order to get additional funds out there in the economy. During a town hall meeting on Fox News just yesterday on May 3rd, Trump said, I told Steve just today that we're not doing anything unless we get a payroll tax cut. So as of yesterday, he's basically saying that unless payroll tax cuts are part of the next, next stimulus package, he's not going to sign off on it. Now that could change, but that's just as of what he said yesterday. So what is the employer tax credit? Well, when employers pay their employees, both parties pay a portion of the wage to the federal government. This stimulus would eliminate all payroll taxes federally through December 31st, 2020. The total cost is estimated to be about $90 billion a month through December. So payroll taxes for employees include 6.2% of your income, up to $132,000 goes to Social Security, 1.45% of your income goes to Medicare, and married couples who make over $250,000 a year and single filers who make over $200,000 a year pay an additional 0.9% to Medicare. And then employers also separately pay an additional 6.2% to Social Security and 1.45% of employees' wages to Medicare for every dollar that is spent on wages. With this proposed idea, now you won't see these calculations anywhere else because I don't just read a couple articles and then regurgitate it to you guys. I take in as much information as I can, I simplify it, and then make my own examples so I can explain these as simply as possible. So employers and employees would retain about $75 for every $1,000 that is either paid out or earned. This means that the average worker would get a stimulus of around $280 a month and employers would save on average that same $280 a month per employee. For the average worker, that would mean an extra $2,240 through the end of December of this year. It would just be broken up a little bit on each payday through the end of the year. And employers would see that same $2,240 per employee through the end of the year. Now, self-employed individuals would also be included in this, and they actually would be the biggest beneficiaries of this proposed plan. Self-employed individuals do not have an employer to pick up half of their FICA tab. So therefore, their self-employment tax rate is 15.3% for Social Security and Medicare taxes. That means $15 for every $100 they earn is going to federal taxes. This means that the, with the average wages for the average self-employed individual, they'd be looking at a $560 per month stimulus totaling about $4,480 by the end of the year. Not a bad deal for those folk, to be honest. If you're self-employed, this might be your favorite stimulus plan yet. Now on to what I see as the pros and cons to this program. In the pros, it's extremely simple. No additional systems are needed whatsoever. One of the biggest issues with the current $1,200 stimulus and all of the proposed next pack packages is that the logistics and the system building needed in order to make it happen just turn into a nightmare. The, just the logistical nature of getting out that many payments is insane. So this would be pretty much plug and play and would be efficient for the taxpayer, meaning we're not also going to pay a whole bunch in administrative costs in order to have people oversee these payments and make sure they're going in the right places because everything's already in place. Also, this would lower the expenses for businesses and individuals. It's kind of a double whammy economic benefit there. I believe this package will influence employers to give hours back to current workers quicker and hire back on laid off employers quicker because they're paying less for the same amount of wages that they did in the past. So the, there are some cons with this program though. The cons though, I don't believe this is quite enough funds and not quick enough to get the funds to individuals. Splitting the stimulus over eight months doesn't really help the present problems that many people are dealing with. I'd personally rather see a one-time payment over something like this. Maybe the US government could use like this tax credit idea, but pay it in a lump sum based on an employee's average wages of the last 12 months, something like that. So you just get that $2,200 right now, and then effectively you're kind of like 
getting that advance paid off through the end of the year through your payroll taxes. I think that would be a better idea. And the last major issue here is anyone who's not currently working or you know got laid off or can't work for whatever reason wouldn't receive anything. And that leaves out millions and millions of people who you know, deserve a stimulus payment as well. So I think the best stimulus is probably some kind of combination between this and maybe a one-time payment or something like that. I'm curious, what are your guys' thoughts on this? Um, do you have a combination idea or do you think that something like this would work? What do you see happening in the future? That's all I have on this, but I'll be curious to see what exactly your guys' opinions are. Until next time, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you appreciated this quick synopsis of the tax credit deal, please give this video a like. It helps spread this video to a wider audience. And until next time, I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope you have a profitable day.